Hello everyone, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series receives a tutorials on simple make files. So, uh, tutorials on simple make file commands. And now in this tutorial we will be uh, looking looking at uh, making looking at dependency chains and uh, simplifying simplifying you know the compilation statements to make a generic ones. Now uh, if you look at the I'm you know, just starting this program from the where we left off last time and now if you look at this program um, I mean look at this make file if we are able to uh, you know simplify these two statements to a much more simpler manner to much more simpler manner okay uh, we'll be able to completely and totally optimize this file without having to worry about anything without having to worry about anything else okay so this will be the last thing we like to do okay now uh, to comp to make this even simpler to make this even simpler um, we just need uh, one more simplification simplification unfortunately that simplification is available through one of the standard um, let's say through one of the standard fun fe fun functions features that are available in make file okay now uh, first I'll just copy this and paste it over here okay I'll tell what the, I'll tell what this means you see if you look at this uh, line over here what you have is that you have a target and colon and then you have dependencies okay I mean I call the I call this uh, statement on the right hand side to be a dependency chain because it is a chain of it's a big line having all the dependencies that are that have to be ready and updated for a particular object to be uh, made if all these up if all these are actually in the current state meaning there's there in the updated state okay this object file will not be made there's a change to any one of these dependencies dependencies then the object file will be this target file will be remade accordingly now now in this dependency chain over here if you look at it there can be uh, several number of files several number of files okay and now here's the thing if i just want to uh, specify or access the first file in the dependency chain okay in the dependency chain okay instead of writing its name in the command line as it is i can just use dollar greater than and that will be more than sufficient so to write this all I can do is instead of stats.f95 if I want to write stats.f95 over here I can just write dollar greater than that will do okay that will do suppose if I want to access write stats stat underscore funks dot o over here okay let's say for some reason I need it I instead of uh, dollar greater than I have to type dollar ampersand or dollar at that will do and now let's look at this now if I make this up there you go if you look at it it's exactly the same as the same as before okay they do the same functioning as before so not a problem so this gives us a little more of a motivation so let's remove this okay uh, I now I can write this over here so here since there's just one file it doesn't matter if I put ampersand uh, greater than or ampersand at it'll work the same so if I make clean okay no input files okay fine I think there is a problem I'll do this uh, make, uh, clean make okay okay uh, mind me. that's a mistake I didn't notice anyway anyway now if you do this uh, we are still able to get the same output now if you look at this once I put this the statement for making stats dot o and sta statement for making stat underscore funks dot o they are exactly exactly the same okay all I have to do is just uh, you know do something to make sure that stat underscore funks dot f95 comes over here when doing this file and stats dot f95 comes over here while making this file that's the thing that's the only thing I have to take care and how do I do about that is very simple all I have to do is just as of now uh, Let's create what you call as the dependency chains. Uh, what I mean by that is, what I mean by that is, you see all these dependency chains over here. Let's cut them up, paste them over here, okay, separately, separately, and okay. Let's make this a little more legible to read, okay and then we can remove all these lines 
okay remove all these lines and we need to we need to put the target and uh, dependency uh, template over here okay for that what we can do is we can just type uh, percentage dot o colon percentage i mean percentage dot f95 that will do so what this says is that if you come across any file if you to make any file dot any file such that it is percentage dot any file with the extension dot o when this in this program i need to take the corresponding file with uh, the with the with the extension dot f95 okay and compile and compile this and uh, and use this command to build it and uh, to make this okay it has it will the, the, the line, uh, make file will go to into the dependency chain and look for the particular one for instance if it wants to make stats dot o okay it will go and take the stats dot f95 and compile this over here but to make sure that uh, you know you should uh, whether it should proceed or not you'll see if stat underscore funks dot o is available if that is not available then it will go uh, on another level deeper and then make sure this file is done ready once this is ready okay and what is this we to make this ready this file has to be made okay this file has to be available once this file is ready it will make that object file now this object file is ready okay so since this is ready uh, it will take this file and uh, create this object file and once these are done it will go to this line and proceed further okay this way we have uh, simplified the statements as much as possible in the for this given program so if I were to make clean, okay, please work this time. So if I type make, and there you go, and there you go. Same function, same procedure. We all we got it. Just like we all got it. Just like that. Okay. Now uh, this is how ma this is the uh, ma maximum simplification you can do. And now, uh, in sometimes uh, in certain uh, make files, what they'll do is they'll add this option called as all. Okay. Uh, so what is what does it actually mean is that suppose if you want to produce this executable and everything that is relevant to producing the executable okay what they'll do is they'll create another target another uh, another you know uh, de de dependency less target i mean some target something similar to clean call as all so for instance so we can do that over here uh, uh, make all target okay what do you type you just type all and you put a colon and as it what, what does it depend on it depends on that prog the prog okay and that's it so if i make clean that's it it cleans everything so if i type make all essentially what it does is that it just creates everything it just creates everything sometimes what what can happen is that even after producing multiple executables you might be required to do something else with the executables or something like that uh, so in that case you can use this way and that way this way you're completely done completely done with uh, you know the entire make file thing okay now uh, to give us a better exam to give us a little more of a better example of how this makes make files become much more relevant what you can do what you can do is that um, what we can do is that we can make it a little more user friendly for uh, user friendly for instance uh, we can add some printing statements over here like the shell command statements over here to make our life a little more easier so what I'm going to do, I already have some uh, file written here, but I'm just going to copy and paste it over here. Okay, the tab, creating the executable for the program. Okay, um, uh, there we go. That's pretty enough. What this is going to do is that uh, it's going when, when the, whenever this line is being comp whenever this. Uh, this statement is going to be uh, executed. It's going to pr print uh, print uh, from few dashes, and then it's going to type this line, creating the executable for this program, and it's going to print this line, and it makes uh, it makes it look a bit little better. Okay. Similarly, uh, similarly, we can add it over here, and add it over here. So what I'm going to do, I already have the files. I um, mean, already have the comment over here. So I'm just going to print it over here, and this will do. Compiling the file. 
and I don't have to replace the file name because by default since this will be taken care I can just use this over here and this will automatically take care of it so this way uh, the statements over here will be much more uh, sensible so if I make clean and make this again there you go it says now look at this it says compiling the file stat and the stat underscore funks dot f95 and we get this and we get the warnings if they are any relevant to it and then it does uh, comparing the file stats dot f95 and it runs this line and then we get creating the executable for the program and then we sorry sorry hold on now this yeah yeah sorry now uh, we get this uh, creating the executable for the program and then we get this and now now with that being uh, now with that being said this is the final this is the final vi uh, video for this for this series for this series uh, in the next video um, although this is the series is officially over in the next video I'll give you a little more hints little more hints on how this can be how, uh, what can be what else can be done and uh, you know what else do you need to go for proceed further and what are the other things you might need to uh, work with uh, make make programming make file programming okay that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in another, the next video till then take care